Hey everybody, Chris is here with some more Stormfall Saga of Survival. Now, just an update uh, for today, and we're going to go run through a catacomb just because. So, I mostly have my central structure turned into brick, which means only players that have only weapons with 35 damage or better will be able to break into this place when PvP goes live, whenever that is. Which, you know, uh, the longer PvP is held off, the better, in my opinion. I mean, just for the most part, you know, just because I like not having my stuff looted. Don't loot my stuff. Anyways, so... So yeah, I mean, I need about, what, 19 more? Yeah, 19 more clay bricks. And I can get these three wall sections right here put into, into brick. And this will be a nice cozy uh, spot for me to put a lot of my important stuff. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, can, and uh, talking about... Uh, Clay bricks. Clay bricks. I require create more. And that's going to remind me of something here. I need more of this. Wait, oh, wrong button. Anyways, go here. Split this up into a four stack and then we'll put it in here oh, and I need a four stack of uh okay come on just a four stack of this this way I can create an even four clay bricks anyway you know maximizing the production you know that's that's one of the things I talk about before is you want to maximize production, get things, uh, move this, keep your production maximized so that way you don't have to constantly be making stuff. Put that away here. And I just set up a new structure here too. This is uh, currently got my brewing cask in it. Uh, I don't know what else I'll put in here, but uh, for now it's just a structure I set up. And later on, after like after I have the central structure, because I am going to be rushing as best as I can to get this central structure up to stone walls. Because stone walls require a weapon 45 damage or better to destroy, which means, you know, people won't be able to practically loot this location all the time. And I like that concept. So... You know, so I'll be upgrading that. And then after I have this upgraded or rushed to stone, then the real creating of the real defense actually begins. Like, just to give you an idea of what I'm planning, I'm planning on basically creating a layer, like layer after layer going around the defense that players will have to break through at least minimum wooden walls to get through so in other words you'll need a lot of for what i have planned one raider will require a lot of weapons to get through a lot because at least i'm going to have them go through one two three four at least five layers of wooden walls six six layers of wooden walls and a layer of stone wall yeah, one, three, four, five, six, yeah. And then, you know, everything there's going to be traps and all that stuff that I can learn later on uh, in between. So, it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be lovely. It'll be a fun, fun defense. But let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, let me put this wood away. I just chopped all this wood. And... Uh, could use it for stuff later. Gotta have a lot of wood, you know? Let's go ahead and go find us a catacomb to go run through. Catacomb run! Oh yeah. Alright, let's see here. 
Kerko, go! And yeah, I bought into, uh... I bought into the premium this week because it had, uh... It had stable stuff on it. And stable stuff... Like, I, I, I actually value the stable stuff at a cash value. So whenever I see stable stuff, I, I buy it. Or at least as long as it's stable stuff I need. And... Die, zombie! Oh, I completed a quest. How about that? Combat. Defeat enemies using Parmancer's ring. Woohoo! Alright. So, let's go ahead and go in here. I think the developer might have tweaked the uh, spider's awareness a little bit. Because it's a little bit easier to approach them. Oh god, no! Oh god! Get away! Thank you. Bye bye. Damn it, die! Alright. Anyways. But as you see, the, that's uh, what I call the uh, the kite strategy for the bone breaker. Because you really don't want to fight the bone breaker because he's just, he's just gonna wreck your armor. Ooh, yes, thank you. I'll take all that. The Bone Breaker is just going to wreck your armor. And it's not, uh... It's just not equitable to fight him. Unless you really, really, really need the blood that he drops. In which case, then fight him. Longbow, leather glove, I'll take... Eh, I guess I'll take the longbow. Come back this way, Bone Breaker. Oh, gosh. Oh, excuse me, sir. Bye bye. Okay. Now that we looted that, we're gonna go this way. Zombie. Zombie boy. And then over here is another zombie boy. Which we're gonna go ahead and kill. Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Curse points. Always be aware of your curse points. Because if you're not aware of those curse points, then everything is going to run up and destroy you. And I'll take the cheese for now. I'll just drink that. Thank you. And then... Oh, wait. No, that's right. I need to loot the zombies. I just remembered I need to loot the uh, kill and loot zombies. Because apparently the tobacco pouches are used in upgrades. So, oh yeah, I'll take all that cheese. So the tobacco pouches are actually an important loot item I need. I had enough to get through some of the upgrades I wanted to do. But I do need more. More tobacco pouches. And if I can grab at least like a half stack or more per catacomb, then I won't be forced to go to any cursed forests. And that'll be okay. Damn it. Alright. You. Down here, you. Yeah, come here this way. Oh my gosh. Oh, he hit me. Okay. Bye-bye, sir. And now I'm gonna loot this. But like I said, you know, it's not really equitable equitable to fight the bone breaker unless you really need the items he drops. So I just skip them. Oh, okay. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'll take the heavy cloth, I'll take the belts, and I'll learn the longbow scroll scroll. I forgot to put some of this stuff away. No big, no big worries. <laughs> that bone breaker was trying to follow at me. Speaking of following, you should go to my Twitter at TWYTCurseus and follow me! Because I will always post my uh, uh, 
my live stream times and uh, and my videos when I upload there. And a note to the developer, these reliquaries, in fact, you know what, food shouldn't even be a drop out of these reliquaries. In fact, because I think too much food, too much food and stuff actually drops in the catacomb already, making the catacomb run slightly easier than it probably should be. Like, like just saying, you know. Anyway, because yeah, like, look at all the, like, I got a full stack of cheese. I mean, that's ridiculous, right? Which I have, like, over, like, 200 cheese at my house, so I really don't need all this cheese. I just needed to eat, oh, yes, I'll take the, the brick. Um, I don't need that bow. I shouldn't pass up free weapon, though. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I don't need this iron pick. Boom. Okay. We're good. I really need to remember to learn to leave stuff at home. Zombie boy, gonna die again. Yeah, these reliquaries shouldn't be dropping food. Just saying that. Like, I get way too much cheese out of a catacomb. Like, I think the most I ever drop, walk out of a catacomb with was like three stacks of cheese before. And that's a, that's a ridiculous amount of cheese. This way, spider. Or you can stop and let me hit you. All right, good job. Thank you, spider. Here comes the spider. This is a uh, upgraded uh, Pyromancer's ring, which I can craft. It has uh, 21 attack and 140 charges, which is really good. Though I prefer my uh, my upgraded crossbow. The upgraded crossbow is just like the the OP OP, you know. But the upgraded crossbow does require two sinew, though. And that's why I have to stick to the Pyromancer's Ring sometimes. Garbage, garbage. Like, I seriously have enough mad life spirits. Alright. Come here, are you. Oh, both of you. Yeah, yeah. No, damn it. Oh, they both missed. <laughs> so I ate a piece of cheese for nothing. And here is the strong box, which is the main chest of this uh, catacomb. Which, note to the developer, there should be at least two strong boxes here. For a area heavily guarded by undead, there should be two strong boxes. Anyway, uh, oh yes. So what do we got here? Trousers, hand wrap scrolls, and padded trousers. Yeah, I'll go ahead and learn it all. Do I need the brimstone? I do. This is once again coming down to stuff I don't need. I really don't, don't need the iron axe. And, okay. And then there is one more. And that's a note to people who are new to the game, by the way. Keep all of the clay brick that you find. You're gonna need it. Like, you're gonna need a serious amount of it. So there's two more small chests and a trunk I need to get. And I do believe that tr the trunk I'm going to get, the note to the developer here, is that the trunk is what I should 
is what should be turned into a uh, strong box. You know, I don't need all these pine planks. Whatever. I have like a ton of. I have a ton of wood. I can make more pine planks. The rivets, however, I cannot make, and therefore need. Hello, spider. Hello, zombie boy. Could use the venom, too. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. I don't really need that bad. Anyways, and going through the small box. Uh, in the catacombs, though, just as a note, uh, Sinew has a chance to drop out of the small chests here in the catacombs. Really could use those iron bars. Um, I can make belts. Iron bars are a little bit more important and less complicated to make. But I need to make them. Oh, I got you. Got you, spider, before you, uh. <laughs> before the zombie boy got in my face. Alright. Those pouches, good. About a half stack, that's good. And, yeah, and, like, food and water shouldn't be, like, mostly dropping out of these. Like, okay, I can understand the water products. Like, full water skins and. Maybe bandages, but the, uh, but you can, I just get so much cheese. Like, like I, like the amount of cheese you get out of the catacombs is ridiculous. Like I know I keep talking about cheese, but man, it's seriously ridiculous. 14 cheese between two, uh, two boxes. All right, I'm just going to fight this one. Yeah, yeah. Think you hurt me? Think you hurt me? You don't hurt anything, son. Although your friends might try to come over and hurt. Alright, and then we're gonna swap those. So I can pick up all this cheese. And like I said, I have so much cheese back at the house that I don't need to save the cheesecloth that I would get here. That's right, I should probably uh, slurp down a couple of those. Okay. Yeah, you get so much cheese from the catacomb. It's ridiculous. The developer needs to tone that down and replace the, replace the cheese on the loot table with something better. Herbs like oh a clay brick. I'll take that. The more clay bricks, the better. Dried herbs I could really use though. Uh, I can always come back in a few hours and pick up the stuff that I didn't need. Yeah, I shouldn't even destroy anything. I should have just. Is it down there? Like there's a whole bunch of spiders, but there's only some barrels to uh, loot. So. I don't really care about any of that. Because bar the uh, barrels really don't contain too much that I need. Oh, jeez, this is going to be a... Uh... Oh, I thought there was going to be a bone breaker in my, in my way down here. Hey, speaking of bone breakers, I killed one. I should have I looked at what he dropped. Didn't want to fight anything and get to these barrels. This is one set of two barrels. Ooh, I'll take that. I really need to try the travel cask. Probably not, but I could come back for it. And if I do this right. I can move this barrel and we're good. And that's everything. Take those. Use those fresh herbs. Yeah, I could come back for those in a little while. 
So, excellent. We have everything I need. I really should have put stuff away. Oh well. We're done. We're leaving. Clans. I can't wait for clans to get, uh, get put into the game. But I do assume uh, before PvP, though, it's going to be clans and probably some form of uh, endgame content before they open up PvP. Like, you know, there has to be something for everybody to do in between PvPing. So I would assume that some sort of endgame end game content would be first. Um, doo -doo, oh, wait, wait. I was like, where's the uh, pouches? But yeah, you need these. You need these tobacco pouches for uh, upgrades. Specifically, uh, right now was the uh, bloom. The bloom requires fourteen of them, and it requires hay too, which is really annoying. Because you only get hay from looting stables on the uh, in the camps, in uh, you know what you would call the PVP bases. So, sort of PvP bases, not 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 legit PvP bases. The you know the camp and the the NPC bases. That's what I would call them. NPC. That's the word. NPC is the word or acronym. Anyway, put that away. But yes, always need these. Take those out, put that in there, and then, okay, I have like two stacks of nails. I don't like that. Need more nails. The nails are important. Now I'm gonna put this away there. And always keep, uh, try to keep your things as organized as you can too. It is just ridiculous how unorganized things can get. No, truthfully, it, like you, if your things can get organized, disorganized really badly if you're <coughs> if you're not paying attention. Anyway, um, I will put the barrels right here and. <clears throat> I think everything else is good, but uh, as you can see, though, for my uh, my stable, I'm actually almost done. Almost being relative, of course, to the rate at which I find the items needed, of course, because you know I have not found a horse saddlebag at all. Don't know where it drops. Don't know how it drops. Your guess is good as mine. Uh, spurs, I have seen. I think I dropped. Got one drop out of a trunk. Uh, horseshoes I do get out of trunks and small chests. Uh, but small chests in the catacombs. Not small chests in the wild. Uh, the, the, the loot tables for the small chests in the wild versus the loot tables of the small chests in the catacombs are totally different. Uh, saddle parts I have not seen drop. I got these from uh, from the free, free drops for the daily. So not sure where those drop either. Or if I'm just really unlucky, which I, I probably think it's just really unlucky. Anyway, so put that way. Good there. And let's put those there. And there we go. Oh, that's right. And the, there we go. Actually, what I need is I need one piece of rope. So we're, I, need a, I need those whetstones. <laughs> Whetstones are required for me to make my OPOP -OP weapon. When, when I need it. When I, when I need it. When I need a one-star crossbow. It's where I uh, it's where I get it. But I need more sinew now too. Like I was doing okay on the sinew, but I need more. But as you can see though, here I'll show you. I'll show you the cost 
doing business here. Uh, where's that button? There it is. In the shelter. I click this. Ten clay bricks, two iron bars. So if you're new to the game, save all the clay bricks that you can get your hands on because you're going to need them. Boom. And 20 more clay bricks. And we're completely in. Completely in like Flynn. So. Excellent. 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 Oh. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, let me know what other kind of uh, stuff you'd like to see me do in this game. Uh, you want to see me go raid a, raid a cursed forest and talk about that? Hey, I've raided plenty of them, but I tell you, they're actually not worth it over the uh, over the uh, dark woods. Anyways. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Hit that bell. Just tap that bell. Make it ring. And so you know when I upload stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.